Temna, who is before the court, to explain why he deliberately disobeyed the orders of summons by the court, which led to his conviction and sentence. The Law Society of Kenya, led by the President Emeritus Nelson Harvey, has urged me to deny Mr. Masengeli the opportunity. He has revealed that Mr. The mis he has revealed to this court from the bar that the missing persons have now been released, and all I should do is to allow Mr. Masengeli to confirm that he has complied with the orders of Abias Corpus, Corpus so that these proceedings can come to an end. Additionally, he has argued that Mr. Masengeli has filed two applications before the Court of Appeal where he has appealed against a conviction and sentence and one where he seeks an order of stay of these proceedings. Mr. Dan Manzo has argued or submitted that the court is now functus official since the jurisdiction of this court now rests with the Court of Appeal, has now been vested with the Court of Appeal following the, following the filing of the two appeals. This position has been strongly opposed by counsels for the first respondent, Mr. Miller and Mr. Obola, who have argued that the court gave a coercive order which end compliance requirements. Further, the proceedings before the Court of Appeal are intended to deal with the conviction aspect and not the sentence. In making a decision on the issue before me, I must make reference to the sentence of the order I made on the 13th of September 2024. In sentencing, in sentencing for contempt, there are normally two ways of punishing a contemnor. Okay, two major ways. The court can choose to adopt a purely punitive approach or can choose to use a coercive approach in which it includes what is known as the punching conditions. The coercive approach gives the contemnor the opportunity to save himself from punishment, <coughs> the equivalent of purgatory in religious, religious circles, so that if the contemnor complies and <coughs> fulfills the obligation required of him by the court, the court can weigh and consider whether he has cleansed himself of the original sin. In my ruling on the 13th of September 2024, I added this in mind when I included condition number four, which stated as follows. The court nevertheless considered, considers it desirable to impose a coercive order as opposed to the punitive order. In this regard, Mr. Gilbert Masengeli can avail can avoid serving the sentence if he complies with the direction to obey the court summons. I thus suspend the sentence for seven days only. The acting inspector general can redeem himself by availing himself before the court in person to answer to the issues he has been avoiding within seven days. In default, the sentence shall automatically become effective. Having stated as much, and the contemnor, having availed himself before the court, before the lapse of the seven days, I would be going against my own orders if I deny him if I deny him audience as urged by the LSK. This is a court of justice and must act fairly at all times towards those that appear before it. Mr. Masengeli is entitled to be heard by virtue of this court order. The Court of Appeal has not taken away 
the jurisdiction of this court. For it has not issued any order being the, uh, barring this court from hearing Mr. Masengedi. The, this court is not found as official either, as the, tens, as the sentence was merely, was not purely punitive, but coercive, leased least with patch conditions that the court reserved to consider before the sentence becomes effective. I will thus allow Mr. Masengeli to take to the stand and redeem himself. Most obliged. My Lord, can you give directions on which side? He must be on the dock. Yes. My Lord. Yes. Yes. My, my, my Lord, um, with your kind permission, this is a matter between the court and the contaminant, and it is straight law that the petitioners have no right to cross examine. Okay, let uh, the order. Sorry, that cannot be the premise. Just a minute, I have a right to that question. If he insists that the court not to be here, yes. we may as well walk out. And okay, go. okay let, let me do this, eh? Mr. Harvey. Kindly listen. Let him explain. Uh, immediately, that, immediately he has done that, I will seek. Uh, I will seek what? Submissions from you on whatever issue you want, then I will do on it. But for now, let's just follow the order. Let's hear him. My colleague has rightfully made a yes. Yes. It is taking court mm -hmm. for the Bible. We will reserve our right to cross examine. You will reserve the right to cross examine, but uh, let, let's first hear him. Then we can see whether it is necessary for you to cross examine. Because you see, why do you make the decision to cross examine before you have even heard what he says? Precisely, my lord. Now, a prudent lawyer <laughs> no, must just wait. necessity just wait. say to the court what he intends to do. Yes. Yeah, just wait, just wait, just wait until he does it, then we will consider. My lord, may I seek your leave? Yes. May I seek your leave to leave the court? Mr. Mutinda and Mr. Bita it's okay. will appear. Thank you so much. Okay, Annette, so we are... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yes, the Peter.